I did get NetObjects Essentials on this computer, so if you're downloading the program, this is the same one that you'll be working with. And so, no matter what kind of a platform you're going to be using for making your website, one of your first decisions that you have to, to make is what kind of an editor you're going to work with. Well, with, with all the years that I've been working online and working with new people particularly, this is about the easiest to learn piece of software I have ever, ever, ever used. And uh, now that they're giving a copy, Essentials Away Free, I strongly recommend that you download it. It is a full version of the program of uh, NetObject 7.5. And so you don't have to worry that you're getting some kind of uh, uh, put together example of what this, the program is like, but a full version of, of NetObjects Fusion. Uh, hi, Peter. Before I go on, let me give you this uh, action plan. And I do have to send it to everybody because the sending it to one person doesn't work anymore. Anyway, there you go. Go ahead and save that somewhere where you can find it easily. And after we get done with today's class, you've got some homework to do so that you're prepared to make your first five-page website using NetObjects Fusion next week. OK, so if we're all ready, and uh, I'm going to put this up in a corner so I can still see if anybody's got questions or something, um, then let me know. I'm going to get into desktop sharing, and we'll take a look at this program. A few of the things that I really, really like, it's a little bit smaller so I can still see you guys, but enough so you can see the program. Uh, everybody see my desktop OK? OK, so we'll get started. So. A five-page website. This is where we normally begin. And with NetObjects, we're going to go to File. And we're going to create a new site. And we're going to create a blank site. You have your choice of using the wizard or from a template or from a, an existing website. But what we're going to do is go from a blank site. And you just click clear. And then you're going to give it a name, and I'm going to call this one Secrets 2. And it really doesn't matter what you name them at this point. Uh, it just tells you what the site is out. When I'm doing them for a client, I might name them the client's name uh, rather than their website name. Now, I have one page that's created for me. Now, I'm going to make four more. And all I do is see this button here that says New Page. I'm going to click it three to or four times. One, two, three, four. And the first one I'm going to name About. And the second one I'm going to name it INL. And the third one I'm going to name Favorites. And the last one I'm going to name a blog. Just call it blog. Now, I'll go to the home page and open it up. And you'll see I've already got a banner. I have all, all of my navigation bars. And it's home, about, INL, favorites, and blog. And in the bottom, I have a footer. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about that master border in a little bit when we start doing some things with it. But this particular site style, I'm not real turned on by it. I don't like it much. But NetObjects comes 
packed with probably 120 different styles and you're not limited to just what's in here. Okay, I'm going to click on style and we'll click on the button that says the active site styles and the local ones. I'm going to open it from there and you can see every one of these things over here is the name of the style. And I'm just going to kind of click through them a little bit. And believe me, with NetObjects, this is the hardest part of creating a website, is deciding what you want it to look like. So there's Airbrush Gold. And then uh, some of the styles, they'll give them to you in two or different, three different colors. Oh. There's that one. <laughs> what I like to look for is what the buttons look like first and the color that I want to use. And so I wonder why it's doing that. Doesn't make sense. So one of my favorite colors is blue. So I'll look at the blue ones first. And but the one I want to use for today is called Garden. So I'm going to go to the one called Gardening and I'm going to click on there. And it'll bring up the site style form. So you can see there's just a ton of different things in there. And, and you can just choose them based on what you want your site to look like. Then I'm going to click this little button that says Set Style. And it'll say the selected site style has been applied to your site. And I'll click OK. And I'm going to go back to the site, to the site structure. Richard, did you get knocked out? OK, good. Now I'm going to go back to desktop sharing again. And we have our five pages. And now I'm going to go to the home page. And you see it set the style for me for that gardening style. Now, if you remember just two things, a website is nothing more than graphics and text. And everything that you do in a net object site, you're going to do right here in this layout area. And if you could see, I just drew a box for there so I could show you the layout area of the the page. Everything you do is going to be done in in there. Net Objects is going to take care of the header, the navigation area, and you can add some stuff to the footer. Just remember that anything you put in the header, the navigation area, or in the footer Net Objects is going to put it on every single page for you. Cool? That's one of the biggest mistakes that most people make is they don't understand why their their whole site changed and it's simply because they got something into it, particularly this side navigation area that they really didn't want it to be there and it moved things out of kill.